Okay. <coughs> Previously, on the fourth capture, dun -dun. we are Survey Team 3 from the Namandan Union. Dun -dun. We were just supposed to escort our emissary to a diplomatic meeting with the Sivilai Empire. Sivalai. Similai Empire. Dun -dun. <laughs> Instead, we find ourselves on a rescue mission for the Civilized Empire Princess called Malina. No more dun -dun. <laughs> dun -dun. She has been kidnapped and dun. is now in a place called Twilight's End. <laughs> Turns out, her uncle, who is a Zibai Kia, has usurped the throne of the Civilized Empire dun -dun. and has broken the Treaty of Thorns signed by the free trading cities, betrayed his allies, and uh, is causing a lot of unrest in the region. So, his people, well, some of them, don't like him very much and want to do a coup. <laughs> and in order to do a coup, they want the princess so she can come back and take over the throne again. Mm. Ah, so, that's that's how we come in. Uh. We are on a fetch quest, essentially. <laughs> so... We are travelling undercover as guards for a caravan run by an arms dealer named Yafir Tama. And we are now across the sea, across the land, and we are in a nice beautiful village called Don's Edge. Uh, which actually has a lot of uh, retired adventurers living there. Don't know why. Maybe something about the feng shui in this area. Not sure. Anyway, uh, in our very short stay here, we've <laughs> basically only been here for what? Two nights? Mm. Uh, two nights, right? A lot of things happened. First, Kaman and Bara got kidnapped by the Kakiyas of the big bat in this area called Riyaka. Ah. After that, they were replaced by vegetable people. And then, the angriest purple kobold in all of Earth 2 appeared and shot the fake Kaman in the head. And then we found out that, oh, they are actually vegetable people. So the purple angry kobold by the name of Chadalia uh, helped us to go and find the stronghold of Riyaka. And with his help, we rescued our friends. And then, Riyaka appeared, looking like this big black dragon. And we were like, I thought you said he's supposed to be very hot. <laughs> but anyway, we decided, ah, black black dragon. Mm, that's Bye. Not to, yeah, exactly. So we buy it out of there. Lah. Got back to the village, where Bara's egg hatched into a baby griffin, who is now named Bob. Thank you, Greens SG. Anyway. After that, while we were trying to deal with the griffin, we heard an attack on the village. Because Riyaka is that kind of Tibai Kia that cannot let things go on. So he came and attacked the village. And then that was when my life changed. Because... Oh. <laughs> because the most compelling, charismatic woman I've ever met burst into the room and made me question my sexuality. And that would be Chang Chang, who is the captain of a flaming airship. Yeah. <laughs> that is called awesome. the Flame Hawk. Yes. Yeah. So under her leadership, we went out and we helped the village. We beat down some of his bigger kakias. Then we went to the airship, which you know she piloted by becoming one with the ship and then making the bird fly. It was so damn amazing. And then we were all crew on the ship, even though I've never flown before in my oh, no, that's not true. I got drink potion one time before. But anyway, yeah, not my element, never mind. So we fight the dragon. Fight, 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 fight. Wow! And then after that, the dragon fall down on the ship. But he wasn't a dragon. He was this blue skinned fella who looked damn creepy. And again, it's not as hot as Chandelier kept saying. <laughs> and then, when we were fighting him, Chang Chang did this very dramatic thing where she stepped out from the magic circle and she stabbed him so hard, so good that he died straight away. And that's where we left off. Finish! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Yay>. <laughs> Thank you, Shino. <laughs> um, and if there's no objections, then welcome everyone to Uritu and let's get going.